Now, Dylan Hogan just said that he was Hulk Hogan. Meanwhile, Tony Slater's coming out to Hulk Hogan's music. And he's dressed <laughs> like, like Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hogan. How about that? He's in it to fight. He's in it to win it. And like I said, these big boys punch with power. Yeah. And, and Tony is not playing with it. No. Up against the fence, Hogan has him. I don't know what that guy just said in the background. But it sounded like a... Now, we can't repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> we could, but it wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> this is the final contest of the night. The big boys. Yeah. Oh, big knees. knees. To the body. Oh, rocked. Tony Slater's Hogan. Up, got his back up against the fence. Tony Slater's back is up yeah. against the fence. But he is fighting strong off of that back position there. Yep. Once turn it around or flip it to the ground. I'm not sure Hogan, Hogan wants to go on the mat with this guy. He is a wrestler. He being Slater. He's trying to trip him down. He's trying, he's just trying the hip toss. He's trying to pull that leg out from underneath him, but Slater's not having it. I've never seen two big guys on the mat grappling. That would be interesting to see. I might see it here tonight. Trying to get that trying hip to toss and he him. gets it. And he got it. Slater reverses it. Uh oh. Slater uh -oh. reverses it. Uh oh. And this crowd is on their feet. Yep. Here in Mobley, Missouri. Slater lands in half control, half guard. Punching to the, the Let's see what he can do. Chance of let's go, Tony. Let's go, Tony. Let's go, Tony. Tony trying to get control. Yep. Still in half guard. Corner telling him to use the underhook. He wants to separate from Dylan and, and uh, inflict some pain. Scheduled for three rounds here. Hogan trying to figure out what next. Yeah, he's controlling that wrist, keeping it. There goes some punches Oop. from Tony Slater. Oop, get back down there, buddy. Get Slater back down. Slater back there. on top. Hogan was trying to get up. Tony, hey, everybody, your posture up and drop him, Tony. Tony, you got to go suicide. That's grown man strength on top of you there. Yeah, that's right. Tony's got the, the he's fortunate to have his corner right there. They're right in front of his coach. Rick Ten Davidson. seconds to go. Round number one. It's been all Tony Slater on top. Yep. End of round number one. In the red shorts, Dylan Hogan in the black shorts. And here they go. Back to work they go. Up close and personal with one another. This time, Hogan. Putting on the pressure. Again, buddy, was here last time. Uh, right here. The same spot. And I'm, I'm hoping they reinforce the ring here. I hope the bolts don't come loose. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. For the first time, Hogan is on top now. Yep, finally got Slater takedown. on the mat. He's going to try to inflict some ground and pound, throwing some hammer fists. Throwing some hammer fists. He's putting that elbow in the face that is very uncomfortable. Right across the jaw, putting weight on. You gotta remember, Tony or Dylan Hogan is 265 pounds. Yeah. That's 265 pounds just on you. So where is it? On you. Now he's on his back. He's got his back. to get up hammer fist from Hogan yeah, he's taking continuing the hammer fist Tony Slater in trouble Tony Slater in trouble hammer he's, fist he's from Hogan Hogan hammer fist he's got to move and that's, that's it, it.
seconds into round number two by referee stoppage. And your new heavyweight champion, Dylan Hulk Hogan! Hogan! Get the championship here in Mobile, Missouri. And they didn't even try and put that around the waist. 